Hello and welcome to Love Anything Art. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also check out my second channel called Frugally Delicious where I make food on a budget. I have another project using some translucent clay today. This is kind of an epic fail turned not too shabby in the end. I had an idea and I thought I would go for it, but honestly it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. But I thought, you know what? I'll just have a little chat <laughs> and just kind of show you what I made and then just show you how I kind of saved it. It comes out looking like um, like a fun parties 80s confetti piece. I don't know. I think it's kind of fun in the end, but it was definitely a learning process and just kind of a journey. I wanted to use some light colored ink so I decided to use this yellow it's the lightest color there is in my box and I don't know it's kind of it's kind of delicious looking <laughs> it's kind of refreshing makes me want a nice tall glass of lemonade of course you can use as much as you want to make your piece um, a little bit more dark or to have a little bit more color pigment in it just spreading mine out so that it will dry a bit faster I did want to let it dry before continuing on. It just makes it easier to roll when it's dry. Totally up to you if you want to make a big old mess. <laughs> but I didn't really want to wear gloves in this um, tutorial. So they're kind of a pain to wear personally, I think. Anyway, go ahead and mix that up. I'm going to use my pasta machine. I'm going to save my wrists and hands. Whew. Sometimes I'm getting old, guys. And... Uh, it kind of hurts me to keep rolling. <laughs> I was just showing you there, you could add as much as you wanted to if you didn't like the color that you came out with. And of course, you could always change your color too. And I wanted to use glitter because I haven't used these glitters in a while. And my goodness, they're just beautiful. I just love them. I just want to sprinkle glitter on everything. <laughs> it's gorgeous, I tell you, it's gorgeous. And kind of continuing with the yellow mild theme, I did choose some of this glitter, or I guess it's more like um, mica flex. So I went with a yellow color and I wanted to fill it up pretty good. I wanted to cover most of the surface. The yellow in the background is going to just always kind of shine through because of the, the glitter that's on top. You can kind of see through it. Kind of give you a little close up here that you can see all the shinies and pretties. I just love it. I just love it so much. <laughs> I love the way it catches the light. Beautiful. And I wanted to add like a pop of some color, but I didn't want to go crazy. So at this point I was like, you know, I'm going to use some of this pink version of the yellow mica flex so just kind of very sparingly sprinkled some on top of course you know if you really want it to go with like a, a nice contrasting color maybe a blue or a green on top would be really pretty like some glitter instead of the little mica flex i don't know it's always fun to experiment and i think that's kind of what this was the idea i think i had wasn't really a strong idea but you know what it's about the journey and having fun and playing and you really never know what you're going to come up with. So that's kind of what this was about. I like it with the little flecks of pink in there. And I mean, if you can tell by my beautifully painted, <laughs> unprofessional <laughs> nail polish job I did, uh, I like pink. And this is like a hot pink. Because this lady's hot. She's smoking. I'm going to use this circle stencil. You can use any one you want, but I just love like bubbles. Bubbles and glitter and pink. I mean, and I was just going to include all that in here, okay? The stencil, of course, is really not going to stick very well. But I had the willpower to try my darn tootin'est bestest. And you know what? It actually did make a pretty good bond. Um, I think that if you had thicker clay in the back and you pushed kind of hard, 
into the clay with the roller, it would kind of make the clay spread out and it would be more of the clay area and spread out that glitter so that you could attach the two. And I was just showing you there around the edges, I'm never gonna get a good bond, it just never does. It doesn't matter if there's glitter on there or not, you just don't get a very good bond around the edges. So I really wasn't worried about it. And I was just kind of focusing on the inner parts. If you wanted to, you could just shave off the open areas and cut out a piece. I think that would have turned out absolutely perfect and fine without going on to the next steps. It would have been kind of fun with like the big holes with no glitter in it. The big bubbles with no glitter. I'm using some black paint and I'm just kind of dabbing it on. I'm not really like smearing it or anything like that. I'm just dabbing. I thought that would help to get it like only in the areas that are showing, but you just don't get a very good bond with glitter underneath. If you wanted to, before letting it dry, you could kind of dab it off and take off the excess and that might give you a nice effect too, just removing most of the paint, but just having like this nice little film left behind. So I very gently peeled my back after letting it dry. And it actually didn't do too bad. I think that if I would have applied more pressure, if my clay would have been thicker, I could have got better bubbles. But at this point I was like, you know what? I don't like this at all. <laughs> and I'm gonna do my darn tootin' as best as to uh, make this pretty. So I folded it in half once, rolled it through the pasta machine, and it kind of stretches out the black paint and just kind of gives it a nice effect. So I folded it again and put it through there, and this is what I came up with. I thought that, you know what? I can work with this. I can cut out a shape from this, and I might be able to save it because at this point I didn't really know what else to do. I mean, I can roll and chop and mix things like that, but I just didn't think it was gonna help or make it any better. But I was like, you know what? At this point I was like, I'm just not gonna release this video. This is just total crap. <laughs> but I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna do this because in the internet world, Everything is always made to be so perfect and you don't really get to see any of the flaws or boo-boos that get made. So I was like, you know what? No, this piece is gonna be beautiful and I'm gonna make it that way. And I'm gonna make people watch this. So I decided to cut out my shapes because there are glitter pieces in here and if I tried to do it by hand, it does kind of make it a little difficult. You can do it, you can do it. But I use my circle cutter and then I'm gonna have to pick off all the outside pieces and kind of perfect it a little bit because the glitter just doesn't cut because, well, that's just the nature of it. <laughs> so kind of just perfecting it and you can decide which side you like the best. And then I really enjoy cutting out shapes within a shape. So that was just kind of this, just very, very basic. Just cutting out my centerpiece and of course I'll have to kind of perfect that and continue picking off all of the, <laughs> the beautiful glitter that just can't help itself it just pops right out of the clay you just can't help it glitter you just can't help it you just be you beautiful shiny and wonderfully splendid this shape always reminds me of like 80s and then when putting on the glitter and all these like random little splotches of shapes I was like you know what this is totally 80s and uh I love the 80s okay so I decided you know what it needs a little bit more pink a little more contrast a little bit more party on top and so I put some more pink glitters on top and I was still like you know what I could probably bake and resin it right now but I feel like it needs a little bit more there's always room for more. So I decided to use some pink ink and just kind of dabbed it on a little bit. I didn't want it to be like covering the entire surface. I was just, you know, adding a little bit more confetti, if you will, to the party. 
So I kind of did that and little splotches of it. And I, I really wanted to go with lighter colors. I didn't want to like take away from that yellow in the back. So I used this sunflower, which kind of bakes up like a brown color. A little darker than a sunflower, I would say. And at this point I was like, um, I don't really know what else to do to this to save it. So I'm taking a shot in the dark and I'm just gonna go ahead and bake it and I'm gonna go ahead and resin it. And my goodness, golly Molly, oh Molly, it came out beautiful. I love the way that yellow baked up. It's like this golden amber color. I love it. And then all the little ink splotches on top and then that like kind of spread out black paint that kind of like splotches here and there too. It just looks like an 80s fun confetti. I just, I just love it. And of course I did the resin in the back and if you wanted to you could just do this and have a nice you know more mild party. This is for the adults uh, party on the back and then the the younger kids party on the front here. So I went for the younger kids party because well I, I'm getting old and I, I wish I was young. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it just came out really beautiful, and I love the little glitter pieces, and around it you can see the black paint and the colors popping up through it, like, highlights it almost. I don't know. I like it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!